This is my overview of the Cloak and Dagger module from Conjured Circuits. Uh, Conjured Circuits is a small modular synth company from New Jersey. Uh, they initially started making ornament and crime and toy teal builds before moving on to making their own modules. And this right here, by the way, is a micro ornament and crime of their making. Uh, the Cloak and Dagger is their first module, and I'm being told they have lots of exciting plans for the future. So this module is a 24 decibel proactive low pass filter based on the 4072 submodule of the classic ARP 2600 synth. Uh, it's the filter they started using after the lawsuit with Moog. And what makes this module very unique is the presence of a drive circuit. So you can apply drive to your signal either before it gets filtered, after it gets filtered, or both. So you have a switch, which is called pre, post, and of course you can have both enabled at the same time. You then have control over the amount of drive applied with this knob here, and you get CV control over the knob with the attenuator being right here. Another unique thing about this filter is the number of CV inputs that you have. So you have your one volt productive input for playing with the filter resonance in tune. And then you have two CV inputs, each with its own attenuverter here and here. So this creates a host of modulation possibilities. For example, you could have an envelope coming into CV1, creating a sort of stab. And at the same time, you could be changing the, the starting point of the stab with a slow LFO uh, in CV2. And I'm sure you could think of many more creative things to do with it as well. So let's give it a listen. Um, first of all, I'm going to patch out the filter to a mixer, which is a Ericosynth Black Stereo Mixer. The first thing you notice is that the filter starts self-oscillating at around 80-85% of the resonance knob, maybe even 90%. So let's patch in a simple sorted wave from Braid. And let's turn up the resonance. This filter has a resonance compensation uh, circuit for compensating for the loss of low frequencies as you turn up the resonance. You have to be careful when you enable drive because you're adding a lot of voltage to your signal so you could damage your ears or speakers or headphones so I recommend starting at zero before pressing these buttons. Uh, let's start with pre-drive and open up the filter and turn up the drive. And you can hear the difference between no drive and pre-drive. Now let's do post. And both. I should be normalizing the audio in post so you won't be hearing the volume changes. You should only hear the distortion, if there is any. And drive gets really interesting when you're using really dense and rich textures. For example, I've got this uh, sawtooth cord coming from Braid, which is running Renaissance firmware, by the way. Um, so let's hear it. This is without drive. And now let's go all out and enable both drive circuits. And as I push it, You can hear really, really fat distortion. 
just sounds lovely. Okay, I think that's enough of me talking. I will leave you with a, a couple of patches that I made using the cloak and dagger. Um, by the way, if you like this video, make sure to let me know in the comments by liking or commenting. Maybe you can even subscribe to the channel because I will be making a few more videos uh, of interesting and maybe lesser known modules. Uh, I will talk about the natural gate right here. And I will talk about this module right here. I'll leave you guessing what it is. And in the future I have a couple of other interesting modules coming that I would like to talk about. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.